I don't know where is this continue go. Okay, that's relatively normal. Oh, I know where is this. So this is uh, like hard end of the game build. But yeah, Le let's just maybe start from the beginning. When you start, you have one everywhere. You basically get the first losses. And your best uh, solus is basically taking slogger and barbell sprint. So in my opinion, you completely skip this garbage. Completely never be buy any of the equipment and skip everything and just neuro train. Neuro training is extremely efficient and it's uh, the only way to progress in a relatively good tempo. Uh, so this is strength. Uh, because I rely on uppercut, uh, 10 plus 1, 10 plus 7 and 10 plus 1 are my optimum. Which means this is the moment where my attributes are the most impactful. So uh, 11, 17, 21, 27. Uh, uppercut is my core damage damage attack because it doesn't use tonus and it is energy efficient. As you see, this deals 13, 13 damage for 15 energy. If I would go all the way to 27 from 21, it would cost me 18 energy and deal 15 damage. Which is best scaling you can get for strength in this game without going tonus. Or without going for some crazy ta taekwondo. Okay, so how you supposed to build that shit? As you see, I completely skip over block and low kick because I think low kick. Like, look at this cost. Uh, this cost is insane. You cannot fucking pay this. 17 fucking energy to deal with 11 damage. This doesn't fucking calculate. This also doesn't fucking calculate. Uh, later in the game, you basically. And do everything to not pay energy. But early in the game, uh, you basically focus on uh, on these two moves. This is basically bread and butter of entire build. You can take break it if you want enemies to fall out of the energy. It's very good against some badly balanced build, but it's not perfect. So when you finally unlock Torturer, instant instant lock double inhale. It will allow you to launch series of attacks, and you should also consider getting uppercut and faint. These two are the best modifiers in the game. Penetrating attack is also solid, but it's not best, it's just solid. As for aggressive scream... Uh, aggressive scream is not great. I was thinking it's great, but as torturer, uh, torturer and... And basically on it of this block related builds, you want enemies to lose energy rather than uh, to, to not uh, to lose initiative. When enemy lose any initiative, they lose less energy. Anyway, once you unlock double hell, you go strategist and you need calculated exhausting block. You can take boiling, boiling but it's bonus. I take it to mitigate energy problems early. I don't want it to double double inhale. But yeah, you generally also speedrun unlocking torturer alongside later. Once you have exhausting block, you, co you can go torturer. Uh, or maybe you can speed up to iron curtain uh, because it's great block. But it costs energy, so they kind of suck because it costs two tonos and energy. It's expensive as fuck. And uh, the pain is only good against silver. It's not good to use in practical fight, but it's good against silver. Uh, anything here is useless. Uh, chaotic movement is relatively okay. Sneaky punches are also great. Uh, so when I say useless, it means I don't use it conventionally. Uh, I basically... Anything after Numb the Pain, I unlock out of... Uh, because I have points. Here... This is the best block in the game. So... Red is best block in the game, and also red is best non-tonus attack in the game. I don't know how you wanna fucking compromise it, maybe I will show you how I build this shit. So my torturer currently... Uh, this is training setup, but yeah, yeah, I have living armors, I have this shit, East of Fury. And as you see, there is out of green shit. 
but this is for winning. Uh, let's say I face some more casual enemy that I don't need to hardcore try hard. So in situation where I have casual enemy that I don't need to hardcore try hard. Ah, uh, this is not good enough. So I need uh, I need shovel hook. As you see, I mastered sneaky punches because it's great move. I basically recommended you move that I use. And this is all mastery. Break the rhythm, dead grip, calculated, exhausting block. This is my torturer. My strategist is basically the same, but I, I don't know I have fair trade here. I think it's sometimes useful in some clutch situation and this move actually want to remove enemy from, uh, from initiative because you wanna be initiative? <laughs> I think this is some extreme murder combo. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so this is more or less how I build Torturer. Maybe you wanna know how to build Sombra? Uh, just in case, I don't know if you want to or not. But there is this move, break through, through and this allow you to take 60% damage in exchange for enemy losing more initiative than he should use on, on uh, one attack. So it's like block but worse. It's like non-blocking block. So there are modifiers that works if you don't block or dodge. Like this one. What I really like about Sombra and Berserker is that they mostly use red sheet. This builds actually use their own fucking sheet. As you see, my torturer <laughs> really wanna start using everything red. <laughs> if I could, I would, but this is 15% damage, so it's too good for me. But if you can somehow justify removing it for boiling, for example, go, just go for another uppercut here. I basically don't like failing blood, so I'm not going for it. This is a beaten setup. If you go for 17 strength, you could use more endurance relying setup, where you don't try to trade blows. Uh, so this is a like more aggressive version of Torturer, where I actually deal some damage. Because there is the defensive version of Torturer, where you exclusively block and preserve yourself some, somehow. So you deal damage that apply tons of modifiers, for example, like, like this thing, break the rhythm. In a lot of cases. And have a lot of uh, like block modifiers, not, not just the, the energy modifiers, like this. And this and this. But it all depends on your strategy. Uh, a double inhale is sadly mandatory in every build you go, unless you go for one of these Crystal Cobra stuffs. Uh, then whatever. Oh, maybe you, so you are p probably wondering what I unlock here and why. So Tiger instant and Feast of Fury instant. And after that I just wasted points. This is waste of points. I kind of dreamed about that getting trashed out. It wasn't realistic, I just dreamed about it. A trash talk is very useful. It costs you one initiative to potentially remove initiative. It's great against stronger enemy. Or less agile enemy. It's very strategic, it's rather for strategy rather than torture. And because I have damage, you see, I'm not, I'm not just, you know, I'm not to torturer that takes damage, I'm torturer that deals damage. Like, sure, I can block shit, as you see, there is a lot of modifiers and uh, other shit, or oh, contusion. Contusion is great, I, I kind of skip over all of these later shits, because you wanna use this, or this, or this. Nah, but the contusion is perfect. Yeah, so if you want more defensive torturer, 
Let's just uh, get more defensive version. You can go for shit like chaotic movement. I. No, you should probably not have boiling. I believe every torturer need to have good balance of attacks and defenses. You wanna apply all these modifiers HR on attack with contusion break the rid or on defense with dead grip calculated exhausting block. Also look what this block says. This uh, the opponent loses energy if this block is successful. With calculated and with uh, uh, torture don't have block bonus. Oh, higher use stamina, more effective use block. Okay, and this barely, barely use any stamina. You can also pump strength with this. I can go 27 strength. It will actually be optimal for my stupid punches. As I said, it will increase damage by 2 and energy uses only by 3. Uh, so it's good scaling. I mean, as good as it goes. It, uh, it's not great. But what is important about loading strength is that my HP will reach 3. 350 I believe which is perfect and that's pretty much it about torturer and how you wanna build so your stamina is always 1.3 of your agility if not more your agility always need to sit on a good number that is divisive divisible by 3 so this is tier T divided by 3, it gives you 10, 10 initiative plus 2 initiative because uh, formula is 2 uh, uh, plus your agility divided by 3. So minimum you have 2 initiative and maximum is your agility divided by 3 plus this 2. As for strength, you go by move you use the most. For me, it's uppercut and shovel hook. So shovel hook don't really like uh, this number like 27, but it's not 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 bad because you see energy cost is capped. Uh, so when you have something like exactly this, this like one for example. You don't pay extra 40%. It's capped by full number of energy you achieve. So I pay 14 energy. I don't pay 14.4 energy. I hope this helps you. I hope this will help you build strategies, torturer. Oh, also, I forgot about Arkido. Maybe you wanna start with Arkido. I, I don't know if we build Arkido in any specific way. Early in the game I often rely on cheap tactics that include like basic dodges, sombra, sombra attacks and passing moves. And sometimes if I'm lucky I put cheap modifier like break, like break the rhythm. And as you see here, this is exclusively energy restoration build that let you cheap, uh, cheap out some fights. It's not used for anything serious. Like, I don't believe Arkido is great by blocking or anything like this. Like, look at this. Increase fall damage when you knock enemy down. You don't have any resources to knock enemy down in Arkido often. You are often the one that struggle to maintain yourself on the field without falling down. And you often need to replace this move that cost 15 with this move that cost 14 or even this move that cost 12 it sucks, it feels fucking terrible to do so but it's actually better than uh, than falling down on the ground or uh, losing initiative on early attacks especially if you apply break the rhythm on every punch so every punch costs you 13 energy but it lower energy of your opponent and that's pretty much it, that's how you build Torturer, have a good day and see you guys.